Alright, hello guys and welcome to episode 1 of Redstone Masterclass from Swordstone Studios. I'm Joe Curran and today we've got Alistair and hello. he's our Redstone Master. So he's going to be taking the episodes. So we are going to be covering some of the basics, so how to craft certain parts um, and then assembling different items, different contraptions so hopefully you'll be able to make them yourself so the first one we're going to do is a six piston door I believe yeah that's correct so we'll switch over to Alice's cam now and we can go for a little bit of a demo okay so first I'll just show you the demo of the door working so you can see how works it's basically just a very simple piston door that opens and closes when you go off it it's one of the most compact designs i've seen or come up with and it's only got a small delay between standing on it and opening there are ways of making it quicker but personally i prefer this design and here you can see pistons are being a bit glitchy but it still works all fine Okay, so we head back over here, we can see some of the crafting recipes are needed to create it. So first I'll just drag these down so we can create the six pistons. And there we go. So you've got wood along the top, cobblestone down the sides, then you've got the iron ingots in the middle with redstone on the bottom and that creates six normal pistons they will push blocks but they won't retract and pull them back with them so they're useful for some things but with these you want them to push the blocks out and come back here so to make them sticky all you have to do is put the pistons with the slime balls on top and there we have six sticky pistons um, we will need four pressure plates, six redstone torches, and some redstone and whatever building block you want to use. So there's four pressure plates and six redstone torches. We'll bring those down. Okay, so if we head over here, we can start to build on. So if I just lay out a small wall laying along there. So first you've got to line up the three pistons on either side, one well one block away from the pathway, so right there, leaving one gap because that's where the block has to go. And then place the blocks in front of them and you can build up the wall around it. Then do the same on the other side. Nope, nope, wrong way. Oh. And blocks in front again. Now, the way I do this is I place the blocks like that with the redstone on, redstone on top. And then just need to dig away small area around it. So Joe, if you could start digging out the same area on the other side. Yep. Uh, then from here, place another piston there. And as you can see, that there torch powers that block, which turns off that torch, which turns off that, that block, and the one on top. And now we just need to invert it once more. So if I place another torch there, we've got it. So when the redstone in comes on, that torch will go off, that torch will come on, that one will go off, and the doors will open. So wire this up underneath the press plate. The press plates will be 
around the front here. No, no, not that. One forward, right there. And if we go underneath, that's along this line. So wire it up. And then we do the same on this side with the redstone torches. And the redstone on top powers all three. Uh, then need a bit more room. And there we have it. We have the start of the piston doors. At the minute it's only one way, but that's easily sorted if we extend the pathway out. And that may be what you want. You may, be able, you may want to just go one direction. So yep. You can also use other control methods for opening the doors, such as levers, torches, anything. Uh, but this is a simple design to just get it working. And that's it. You can cover it all up fairly simply, leaving not much left behind. So. As you can see, I've run out of blocks, but you can just cover it all up within a fairly small space. And that is the piston door. So a very simple, quite compact design to uh, put for maybe your house entrance or whatever you want. Yeah. And like like Alice had mentioned, you don't necessarily need to have pressure plates. You could uh, you could use the uh, levers or or buttons, and they all act the same. They all open the door for the X amount of time. And I think I broke that by blocking it. Yeah, you need to be careful where you place the rest down, but it's generally fairly. So, yeah, just there. Um, right. And there's the doors. Anyway, if I hadn't cut that up, that would have been working. Um, Either that or the service has been a bit dodgy. Yeah, as you can see, there's something wrong because this torch is off, which means that torch should be on, but it's. I don't know what it's doing, so I'll try restarting it and placing those back. And that should be working again. Or not. Or not, yeah. Oh well, never mind. The other one works. Yeah. I think the yeah, surface has been a bit dodge. Yeah. But, as you can see by the other one, if we go back over there, it's fairly simple. I think I actually made it slightly more compact in this one than the other one by having this block going inwards instead of outwards. Yeah. But that one's easy to see what I've done. But it's the same principle. Redstone powers that block which makes that torch turn off. That torch powers this block which makes that one turn off. And that one is powered by that one. And that controls the doors. So there we go. Good stuff. And that's it for today's Redstone Masterclass. So we've shown you how to make pistons, pressure plates, and a piston door. So thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope it's helped. And if it has, like this video and comment. So thank you very much. This is Swordstone Studios out.